I had many conversations with the people about the LT technology. And the people always ask me this basic question. What is the difference between the LT and LT Advanced? Or how LT Advanced is different from the LT? So in LT Advanced, the base technology remains LT, but there are some enhancement due to which it called as a LT Advanced. I'm assuming we already knows about the LT. Hence, in this video, we are only going to talk about the differences because of the video limitations. I don't want to go very deep into every differences. We'll only cover the LT advanced evolution and LT enhancements. For deep details, I would suggest you to please refer my other videos. So let's begin with the LT evolution. Here is the time scale from 2009 to 2015. Okay, so LT was first proposed by NTT Docomo of Japan in 2004, but LT standard was finalized in December 2008 and first public available LT service was launched on December 14, 2009. At initial level, LT launched with a 300 Mbps downlink speed achieved by the 4 cross 4 MIMO in 20 MHz band. While in 2009, some additional features and inter-technology compatibility, inter-technology like uh, WCDMA, GSM, CDMA, um, these things. Um, so inter-technology compatibility standard got matured and R9, the release 9 launched for the service. In release 9, some studies was also there for IMS, Volti, carrier aggregation and a lot of features. Finally, in 2010, the LT Advance introduced as a release 10 standard. The charm of release 10 was 3 GBPS. That was amazing. 8 cross 8 MIMO, carrier aggregation, IMS, Volti, etc, etc. It was a boom for the LT. After release 10, the Volti came out for the ground test. Volti is still under the testing phase when the release 11 was launched in 2013 with more effective new LT specifications. I remember in May 2014, Singtel introduced the world's first commercial full-featured Volti service in Singapore. It was only combination with the Galaxy Note 3. Between 2013 and 2014 duration, many operators start deployment of the LT services. 2015, R12, which is called the Release 12, it was released and introduced some standard and studies about the machine to machine communication through the LT. So this was a history, I mean, how it evolves from the LT to LT advanced, how when we got the VOLT calls, when it was commercially deployed. There are a lot of features. I mean, it initially it was like 4 cross 4, then 8 cross 8. These are the basic features. So if we talk about the differences, the main difference between the LT and LT advanced is the throughput. In LT, we are achieving like the 100 Mbps, while in LT Advanced, the throughput is greater than 1000 Mbps, or you can say like 1 Gbps. Same as uplink throughput in LT Advanced is more than 10 times in comparison with the LT. To achieve this throughput, there are some upgrades done into the system, like code words. Initially, the UE was allowed to use only one code word for layer mapping. While now in LT Advanced, the UE can use the two. It's almost double. But what exactly the code words are? Code word represent the user data before it is formatted for transmission. The raw data. Before scrambling, it calls the code word. Now, let's talk about the layer. We're using four layer multiplexing and uplink, while previously it was only one. And in downlink, the system was able to use only four layer multiplexing, even only for the CAT4 devices. CAT3 devices were only getting two layers multiplexing. But now, in LT Advanced, the system is capable to multiplex data in eight layers in downlink. The main feature of the LT Advanced is the carrier aggregation. In LT Advanced, we can aggregate carrier till 100 megahertz, which is five times of 20 megahertz, meaning you can add five 20 megahertz carriers in a same layer. The next is the transport block. The major chain in uplink. In LT, we are using only one transport block per subframe, while in LT advanced, we are using two. Even though in downlink, the transmission are same. There is a big enhancement in LT advanced for uplink. 
Now we can use non-contiguous data in single DTL. I believe you already know about the contiguous or non-contiguous data transmission. Non-contiguous is like different string. There is also big change in uplink control signaling reporting. In LT, you will always use the PUCCH for uplink signal, whether it has data to transmit or not. Unlike in LT Advanced, the UE will use the PUSCH for signaling also. And lastly, about the releases, LT was introduced in R8, release 8, where, where LT Advanced was introduced in release 10. Thank you.